Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle with Oxmoor Auto Group here today at the Wildwood Country Club. I have Tony Vanetti here with me and Jennifer with blessings in a backpack. Now the reason we're out here today is Ford is graciously donated a Ford F-150 for the whole in one. Now Jennifer, what is this? Um, why are we out here today? So we're out here to raise money to feed kids. All uh, right. Blessings in a Backpack mobilizes communities, individuals like everyone participating in the golf scramble today, and resources to send food home on the weekends to children who would otherwise go hungry. Okay. Now, what are some of the milestones that you guys have gone through right this, this past year? Well, this is actually a national program that started right here in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, the first group of moms and people that got together to feed kids was back in 2005. In okay. 2008, we became a 501c3. And um, here we are today in the midst of a pandemic, right. still feeding kids. Um, you know, Feeding America said that there were 11 million children who were food insecure in the United States. Mm. We're not a third world country. Right. And this was prior to the pandemic. Now they're estimating 18 million children are going without food. So well, let, me, let me be geez. important what she's saying here, moms feeding babies. Here's the story, that they aren't professional uh, uh, charity people that, that are working and they all have salaries and all. These are moms that decided children weren't gonna go hungry. That's right. as simple as it gets. So that's why I got involved with them. And mm -hmm. then it really, Ford, uh, Oxmoor Ford giving a truck, is this is the way it's supposed to run. Everyone wants the government to pay for this or this or this. <laughs> this is, the, it's not the way it True. is. It's I mean, communities we're... feeding mm -hmm. themselves is what's important. And Oxmoor Ford has been part of that to, like they won't yeah. let us play because we're ringers. <laughs> we're gonna knock the ball in the hole and win the truck. That's right. I mean, we are privately funded. We right. rely on generous businesses and companies like Oxmoor Ford and Oxmoor Auto Group mm -hmm. and businesses in our community to help us generate the funds to get the food to these kids. Right. And you know, here locally, we went from 64,000 children in Louisville to over 100,000 who are hungry. And these mm -hmm. are gonna be our future uh, workers mm -hmm. and decision makers and leaders. So, I mean, these are our kids. Right. Now, if someone wants to get involved, what's the best way that they can get involved with this organization? You can go to our website. Okay. Um, if you work for a company that has a community outreach or charitable giving, let's, let's get the information to them. Okay. I mean, we have 91 elementary schools in JCPS. I would love to see a business adopt each one of those schools and help those kids that need. And by the way, people want to ask, well, why, where are the parents? They want to ask, well, why aren't the parents feeding the children? Let's, let's just knock that out of the way. You can't worry about where the parents are. It's mm -hmm. about feeding children. Right. If you're going to be worried about where the kids or where the parents are, then we're, we can't talk. I need you to help feed children. And by the way, there's another uh, step to this. Once they start to eat, think about that concept. Once they actually get food, then their grades go up. Discipline goes down in the schools and the entire community does better. Why? Because we give a, a pack of crackers and an apple to a kid for a day. It's, it really is a ripple into the pond that just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, because these kids don't get to choose the family they're born into. Right. They are not accountable for the decisions that their parents have made. And so when people ask me, where are the parents? My immediate response was, what does it matter? Right. Doesn't matter. This That's little true. baby is full of potential and possibilities. Mm -hmm. And that question is not important. Right. And so um, we've had to adapt and make some changes because mm -hmm. typically we do distribute on Friday afternoons through the school system, but COVID has not stopped us and it will not stop us because this is too important. And we're gonna continue to do what we do. 100%. Thank you guys so much for speaking with us. We really, really appreciate it. And I'm so glad that we could be a part of this. Oh, we are too. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. you all rock. All right. So we got a little pro talk time back to the PGA days. Got my good buddy Blake Watts out here, PGA head professional, Wildwood Country Club. You just got done with a big day of golf yourself, didn't you? I did. Yes. Yeah. We had the, uh, the KPGA pro assistant championship, Yeah. which is a great day. You get to take the three assistants out and have a lot of fun with them just kind of thank them for their service and uh their time here at wildwood and uh, yeah. just have a fun day of it it's always a fun event when you get some of them out of the uh, shop because you spend so much time in there it's right? awesome yeah just get out and have a little fun where it's not so you know that work environment we have a lot of fun at work but uh, different when you're playing so it's it just is. awesome time it is and then you get to come back here and you're also hosting an event today with blessings in a backpack 
We just heard from Tony Vanetti, a big supporter of Blessings in a Backpack. You know, as PGA members, we give a lot of time to charity. So what's it mean like to you to be able to host a place, have a place like this host this event that feeds kids? Yeah, it's, it's an honor to have Blessings here. Um, if you know their mission and it, and it doesn't tug at your heart, then <laughs> right. uh, I question your humanity. Um, <laughs> it is such a such an awesome um, platform that they strive to, to feed these kids and it just it's heartbreaking and such an awesome hate to play on the word but such a blessing for these kids so right. uh, we're very honored to have them here and we really support the mission and you know we have probably 18 to 22 of these events a year where we work with mm -hmm. charities and um, it's good for the club to be in that that environment and um, if you can support blessings I ask you to because it, it's what a mission it, it's amazing isn't it and uh, you know another PJ professional that supports them is Justin Rose found out that he and his wife just opened up a local chapter in Orlando. So funny little staff. Very neat. We'll put a link in there for that too. It's really cool. Um, so what everybody's looking for is to win this Ford F-150. It's about yeah, a $50,000 yeah. daddy here. Now I did throw up the drone a little bit ago, flew it in and it looked like a pretty tough pin position there today. What's it going to take for somebody to make one here? Yeah, it's going to take quite the shot. And you know, you're playing about 195 yards, plays a little uphill and where the pin is today on that front left side, uh, you're going to have to bring the ball in a little right to left, but the green funnels that way. Um, but you're going to have to hit quite the shot. So maybe a high draw of right-hander in there, feed left to right. Might get lucky, take this bad boy home. I know, right? You get to turn pro that day, right? That's At right. least for one year. <laughs> That's right. Uh, lastly, uh, what's going on at Wildwood? Uh, you've got more events. What's the memberships going on? Anything exciting? Yeah, yeah. We've, uh, you know, this year the events are, uh, we played it safe with events. Uh, we, we did have a member-member championship last weekend. Uh, the golf course is awesome. We've got such a young, vibrant membership. Uh, we really strive to, to take advantage of that 25 to 40 age bracket right. and see what we can do to bring those folks in. And um, nothing official yet, but I think you'll see some changes around the club here shortly that uh, we're really, really excited about. That you that will also, uh, yeah, you heard it here first. Uh, that will also appeal to that group. So uh, we're excited. Yeah, it's Love already the direction of the club. Sorry. Yeah, it's oh. a, no, you're good. It's already. It's, uh, we were just looking earlier. It's a great place to sit up there and have a drink after the round. You got the pretty veranda up there, so nice place just to have the family out. Well, David, our superintendent, always does a great job with the golf course. But if you come out and you sit on that back patio, it captures captures you pretty quickly. It doesn't take a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's one of the best in the business here in the Kentucky PGA section. Worked with him for a long time. Credible at giving lessons as well. I'm sure <laughs> your your lesson book is full, isn't it? We are. We teach quite a bit. Uh, we've got four instructors here, uh, myself, Nick Johnston, Josh Griffin, and Kyle Sheffer. Uh, all pretty good players and a uh, pretty good uh, group of guys to help you out. So if you need anything, give us a call. You'll know where to find them. We'll have a link here. Blake, appreciate your time. I would shake your hand, but we can't do that these days. Can't so. do it. See you, brother. Thanks, Kenny. Appreciate it. Bye.